Hello and welcome to the Drunken Spear Tabletop Gaming Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about the lore in our upcoming campaign that takes place in the world of Metheria. Mysterious Creation, Part 1 The Almighty He who created the world Metheria and gifted it to his sons, Etar and Edar, to shape and create whatever they desired. Metheria was nothing but dirt and rock with no oxygen, vegetation, or water to support life. Both sons worked together and created the atmosphere to protect their creations from space and sun. Etar quickly began shaping the earth, creating one large landmass, as Adar created the hydrosphere, along with a massive sea of salt water surrounding the giant landmass. They decided they would want to create life, and in doing so, created the trees and vegetation on land. While plankton, drifting plants, algae, and some bacteria that can photosynthesize for the saltwater sea. Etar declared God of the land, as Adar declared himself God of the sea. Etar allowed Adar to create rivers, ponds, and lakes of fresh water through his giant landmass so that the creations of land could drink from and nourish their mortal bodies along with having a source of pure food that has been cleansed by the water. Their world now had become able to support the creation of lesser beings. Imagine our earth untouched. This is what Metheria would look like at this stage in its existence. Etar dreamed of a lover and someone to spend his time with. He then removed a part of himself and created a bath, a female who he would call his queen. In doing this, Eldath was almost as powerful as Etar. She also could create life just as Etar and Adar could. After years of Eldath and Etar being alone and enjoying the earth, everything it had to offer, they become malcontent and wanted other beings to spend their time with. Adar spends his time in the sea with his creations. He has wasted no time creating fish and all other sorts of aquatic species. A council was called for all three to discuss creating lesser gods to help run and maintain the earth and get it ready for the inhabitants they plan on creating. The lesser gods were then created and referred to as the Newman. Eleven Newman in total were created. Odal, god of music. Theres, god of war. Beva, goddess of fertility and festivals. Ula, goddess of storms. Omera, goddess of magic. Zythos, guardian of the heavens. Ashar, god of time. Aros, huntsman of the gods. Bodrin, smith of the gods. Ulrus, god of the sun. Eldath taught the Numen to create life and in doing so created the human race, her most beloved race of people who she spends a lot of her existence with. The Numen were tasked with creating the other humanoids on the earth, giving them free reign on the land. Most Numen created races based upon their own image. Bodrin created the dwarves. Odal created the gnomes. Theres created orcs and the Goliaths. Beva created halflings. Ashar created the turtle folk. Ula created the tabaxi. Omara created all the fairies and the elves. 
Zythos created the mighty dragons of the world. Aros created all the creatures of the land to hunt and eat for nourishment of the body. Ulris was tasked with creating all other races. He went wild with creation, creating the Arakakra and all other races, including abominations, though he kept the abominations hidden. After the creation was complete, the Numen and the gods lived in harmony for many years. But no one, not even the Numen, can stay content. Part 2 Coming soon.